Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Before I begin this video, I did run to the hair store and get a few stuff to do this look. And here's a mini haul. I had to get another denim brush because I have no clue where my other one is. I also got a day and night cap and I got a super jumbo one which is probably gonna be extra extra because I am doing the mohawk and I needed it to be big enough but I really did not need a super jumbo. I also got a hair scarf because believe it or not I do not have a hair scarf and if you have natural hair and you put it up in one or in a ponytail or anything like that you know that a scarf works wonders. I also got two spray bottles here is one of them to put my water in so that I could also do more more spraying water on my hair last but not least i also got the packs of hair in the description box will have the colors that i used the first thing that i'm gonna do is clear out my hair i did have it in the style from the twist out from my last video still and i'm just pulling apart the twist and my hair is extremely dirty from the gel y'all all of that white gunk forgive me y'all but it is all from the gel and wash day is not here yet so you know we gotta work with this thing bear with it and yeah the good part is it was not stink at all it's just the residue from the gel so i'm using the spray bottle to spray water on it and make it easier for me to pick it out or clear it out or comb it out with the hair pick i went in between using the big teeth comb and also a hair pick and this was a process y'all like before i even began to do the mohawk this was already a process I always recommend when you have to clear out your hair, parting it into sections, spraying water, and then combing it out. And that is what I did to make it easier for me to comb my hair out. Now that it's all stretched, I had put it in for puffs because that's how I cleared out the sections. I'm going to take out each of those sections, clear it out a little bit more, and then we can begin the pony hawk. Don't forget to brush, 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 y'all. You have to practice brushing your hair. Brushing does wonders for your hair, and I do believe that it assists your hair in growing. So the first thing I'm going to do is part the front section for the first pony of the pony hawk. I tried to make sure that it was even on both sides. So basically, if you know you started at the front of your ear, make sure that you're at the front of your ear on the other side of your head. This can be, it looks simple, y'all, but it can be very intimidating when it comes to parting, especially for with a style like this, because you want the parts to be as straight and also as, well, not straight as in straight, but as kind of straight, because it is a curve over your head, but y'all know what I mean and you want them to be equal as well so i just put that there and i also was suffering and i also was experiencing intense dry scalp so i went and got my trusty blue magic and i put it in the part Next, I'm parting the other section in half so that I can put that section into two separate ponytails. Here we go. I have it in the three pony hogs. The parts are nice and greased and I am clearing it out again section by section because I need their hair to be extremely nice and cleared out so that when I put it up, each section up for the final time so that it's not lumpy or bumpy, it's probably cleared out and it can go in the pony hog flawlessly. Next, I'm using the Eco Styler gel to really slick. Like, I really put some gel on that. And I took a 
soft bristle brush. It doesn't have to be very soft, but hard. Like, I want it to be smooth, so, like, a hard one wasn't what I was going for. So, I took a small bristle brush and brushed it a little bit. I really took my time and smoothed each one up into the one we would call it or the ponytail and then i brush 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 you can never brush too much guys and then i put that section in one be sure to brush the hair in the direction that you want it to go in one so that you don't have any hair crossing over each other and then creating a lumpy effect and i really was just packing that gel onto there and slicking it up and then putting on the scrunchie or whatever you guys call it I fell in love with my puff hawk, y'all, but that's not what we're going for. Anyways, I put on my scarf, and y'all, I actually bought a scarf with glitters because I was just not thinking ahead, so I ended up with glitters on my hair, but now I just turn it like on the other side, but yeah, I just put on the scarf, tied it tight, tight, tight so that it could keep that hair in place to make sure that my pony hawk is nice and slick. The last thing I did was twist the ends of the hair and join them. As you guys can see, each ponytail was twisted. The ends of it were twisted and then they were joined together. I had my mom do it securely for me so that I can keep it in place. When I took off the scarf, as y'all can see, my hair is just glittering away. And I grabbed the number four hair. And that's what I'll be putting at the back. I'll be doing a basic crochet routine so that you guys, if you're not sure how to crochet, you guys can get an idea of it. I took one section or one curl and I did not pull it apart. I kept the whole curl. I pushed the crochet needle under the hair with the latch open. Then I hooked the hair onto the needle, close the latch, and pull it back under, and then knotted it once. Here you guys can see me do it a few more times. It's a bit slower this time. Just push the needle under, make sure that the latch is open, put the curl onto the hook, close the latch, and then pull it under, and knot it once. Yep, see, pretty easy. I continued going up and I did put some crochet curls in the base like the pony part of it and I also put it onto the part that was twisted I only did that because my mom had secured the ends of my hair so well I was confident enough to actually crochet into that if you are not sure that you can get it that secure, then I do not recommend crocheting the hair directly onto that. You can crochet around that in efforts to hide it and then just pin it. So as you guys can see, I got in the curls and I basically was pinning it up to create that mohawk effect. I use large hairpins, well, hair clips did i use hair clips or hair bands it was hair bands and i would recommend using hair clips because they would stay better however taking them out they could destroy the curls so i just go with hair pins and i just push them in like every now and again when i remember because they do slip out a bit so i had an effect where i had a little bit of hair at the side of my face and then the pony hawk was pinned up I fell in love with this hairstyle, y'all. When I actually wore it, I pinned it back more because I wanted the more of a mohawk effect. But one thing, this hairstyle can be 
two in one because if I don't pin it, it also gives a nice like pony with curls at the end effect. So I enjoyed that as well. Thanks for watching y'all. Be sure to subscribe. Bye.